Here's my Jurassic Volcano cake. It really is so easy to make, lots of fun and great for any child's birthday cake. So I've buttercreamed my cake all ready for the sugar paste to go on top. Now I've baked my sponge in this tiffin pan here which is also used for a princess dress. If you don't have one of these then you can use a glass bowl that's suitable to go in your oven. Now the beauty of this cake is it really doesn't matter about the covering. If you just wanted to buttercream this you can see you've got the lovely textures you could just leave it as buttercream. You could make it as a chocolate buttercream. It could be like a big chocolate volcano. But today I'm going to cover it in the chestnut satina. And you can see I've just dug a bit out at the top there of my sponge. So we've made a nice big crevice in the top to pour all our hot lava into. So this is called satina chestnut sugar paste. Like I said, you could use a chocolate or a brown colour. So pour some icing sugar. And we'll get this rolled out. Now we want to make sure that we roll this nice and big because we want it to overlap at the bottom of our volcano. You can see it's all covered in icing sugar but don't worry about that. So just flop it over the top and then start with the centre. So you just want to lift it up so that we can get it into the middle of our volcano. And just give it a rub with your hand. Now we're going to create lots of channels coming down now I'm going to cut a bit off because I want to save some to make some rocks at the bottom so you can see I'm not worrying about a neat covering And then you could use a rolling pin. Oops, and I've gone all the way through there. And just use the rolling pin to make some channels. And this is where our lava is going to drip down the sides. So it really doesn't matter, you can see we're going to create a nice rocky feel. So don't worry too much, you could see I had a, a bare bit there, but it really doesn't matter. And then we're going to give it some really nice rocky texture and I'm just going to use tin foil. So if you scrunch it up and then just press, and at the bottom you can press quite hard. I think this has got to be the worst cake I've covered for finish. So give it some nice texture. And press it in at the bottom onto the board. 
Now if you wanted to add some more channels that are smaller, just use the end of a paintbrush and just make some marks coming down all wiggly. There we go. You can see how easy this cake is. Now look at that, that's looking like a fantastic volcano. Now with all your offcuts, we're going to make some rocks. So we'll make a few different sizes. And then I've also got some jelly sweets. Now these I thought would make a really good addition to, to, to look like some hot rocks. So with some edible glue, we will stick them down the bottom. And again, use your um, foil. And then if we just pour some of the jelly sweets around the base. There we go. So now we need to add in the lava. So for this I'm using a piping gel. Now this is a clear liquid it's all edible and what we do is we pour some into a bowl and we're going to color this with a paste color so i've got some christmas red i'm going to add that in And there we have our hot burning lava. And then all we need to do is pour this into the top of our volcano. And then very carefully, we want to ease it over the side We're just going to give it a helping hand. And then where you've got your hot sweetie rocks, if you just pour some of the jelly over the top. So repeat this all the way round the side of your cake and then we're ready for a couple of finishing touches so we're going to put some greenery this is plastic decorations and these are food safe so we're just going to stick these in the sides of our volcano 
and now we're ready to make some dinosaurs our cake is all ready now all we need to do is make some dinosaurs so I've got some cookie cutters here and I've also got some plunger cutters um, ivy leaves so I'm using sugar paste I've already coloured them with an autumn gold and an apple green sugar flare paste colour but you can use any browns or yellows and greens that you've got in your cupboard at home I'm also going to texture them now I've got these texture sheets I've got a crocodile, a fish skin and or fish scale and leather texture sheets. So let's start by texturing this one. So just press down quite firmly and rub all over. And you get that lovely texture to it now if you don't have that texture sheet you could use something else you could use the foil that we used earlier so just press it into the sugar paste and that will give a lovely dinosaur tough skin look or sometimes when you have a pizza delivery they come with um, a polystyrene base that's obviously often has a pattern to it so you could use that as long as it's food safe so if we start with the plunger cutters we'll cut some leaves out so with these press from the base and then press down for the imprint and then they just pop out and then using your cookie cutter Once you've used a texture sheet, they tend to stick to the surface, so you just need to lift that off. Okay, now we need to give them some colour. So I'm just going to use some dust colours. I've got some kitchen roll. So these are edible dust, these are, these are by Sugar Flare. This is a moss green, but you can use any colour. If you've got another green in your cupboard, it really doesn't matter. So give them a nice, vibrant look. And then I've got some nice bronze, so I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of bronze And then for our dinosaur, I've got a brown colour. It's always best to put it on the kitchen roll first because you tend it tends to clump. And then we need to add an eye on our dinosaur. I've got this edible pen, so we're just going to pop an eye, a little mouth, to our dinosaur. Now what you want to do, you want these to set firm, so you want to leave those to dry overnight. Here's some that I made a few days ago, so you can see they will set really firm and they will stand up right onto your cake. Don't put them in an airtight container either because they will sweat and then they won't um, dry firm. So if you've got some over sugar paste from your cake, the easiest way to stick them on is to make some more boulders and with edible glue, pop your boulder where you want your dinosaur to go. Let's start off with this one and then we're just going to stick him on and because the sugar paste is still quite soft you can just push them in slightly and then we'll put another one maybe over here so I'm just going to stick a boulder behind him there
And then we've got the leaves as well. So we'll put the leaves towards the bottom. So you might be able to just push the leaves in to the sugar paste. So I'm going to carry on sticking all of these on and then I'll come back in a minute. As you can see I've finished adding all the dinosaurs to my volcano cake and I've just been placing some of these jelly sweets all around the cake to look like glowing rocks and here's the finished cake. <laughs> 